Today we are taping NUR365 Revised Catheter, Straight Catheter of the Male, Formal Competency. So Sarah will start by verifying healthcare providers' orders. I verified the order. Review the patient's medical history of pathologic conditions which may hinder the procedure. I'm looking for any history of DPH, difficulty with catheter insertion, urinary strictures, or urethral surgery. And I don't find any. Gather all necessary equipment. I have my straight catheter kit a peri care bucket and towel, a blanket, and a chucks pad. Provide patient privacy in perform hand hygiene. I'm gonna pull your curtain or close your door for privacy. Introduce yourself and provide your cre credentials. I'm Sarah and I'm a student nurse. Identify the patient using two identifiers such as name and date of birth or name and account number. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? She will compare these identifiers with the information on the patient's identification bracelet and also the medical record. Great, thank you. Check for allergies by asking the patient and comparing to the medical record. And do you have any allergies? Okay, that won't affect our procedure today. Explain the healthcare provider's order and describe the procedure to the patient. I have an order to perform a straight catheterization on you. That's where I'm going to take a tube and put it through your urinary meatus into your bladder and drain your bladder. Apply clean gloves and clean the overbed table. I'm going to allow that table to dry. And Sarah will remove her gloves, perform hand hygiene, and put on another pair of clean gloves. She's going to provide patient safety by checking the bed breaks, raising the bed to appropriate working height for procedure, lowering the rail on the side of the bed she's working on, and lowering the head of the bed. I'm gonna raise your bed and lay you down just a little. She's going to assess for bladder distension by palpating the bladder or using a bladder scanner if ordered. I'm going to pull your blankets down and place this warm blanket over your shoulders. I'm just going to feel your bladder. Yeah, that feels very full. Remove gloves, perform hand hygiene, and apply clean gloves. She will now position and drape the patient appropriately for perineal care, placing a waterproof pad under the patient's buttocks. I'm going to pull your blankets down some more. And then pull your legs up just a tad bit. For the male, you want to extend the legs and the thighs 
should be slightly abducted. If the male is not circumcised, she would retract the foreskin and keep it retracted until completion of procedure. She will now perform perineal care for the male. I'm just going to clean you with some warm soapy water. She will clean up her supplies, remove the waterproof pad, remove and discard her gloves, perform hand hygiene, and put on another pair of clean gloves. Then clean the table again using disinfectant wipes. I'm just going to clean the bedside table again to make sure it's all cleaned up before we put the catheterization kit on it. Remove gloves and perform hand hygiene again. Sarah has the wastebasket handy since the catheter kit is not in its own little bag. She will now open the catheterization kit. All the supplies needed are in the little sterile tray, except she is going to be swapping out the iodine swabs for the alcohol swabs in the kit. Place the first under drape. Being careful not to cross over the sterile seal. Place the fenestrated drape, which is the one with the little diamond cut out. And we can uh, flatten that lower part of that out when she lays the tray down. She will now uh, perform hand hygiene. And put on her sterile gloves. I'm just going to swap out these swabs. So if you have the wrong swabs in your kit, your instructor will do this for you during your checkup. So I just performed hand hygiene and now I'm going to put on my sterile gloves.
She will now open the packet of antiseptic swabs and also prepare the lubricant. Place the kit close to the patient by placing your gloved hand inside the tray to maintain sterility during the transfer. Advise patient that you will be touching him. Indicate where and communicate during the procedure. I'm going to hold your penis and it will be cleaned with some cold wet swabs now. Antiseptic. Grasp the penis and cleanse the urethral meatus and head of the penis in a circular motion from the meatus outward with each of the three antiseptic swabs. Retract the foreskin if necessary. She disposes of the swabs without crossing the sterile field and without contaminating her sterile hand. With the male, for the male, she will hold the penis with a non-dominant hand at a 90 degree angle from the body and she will instruct the patient to bear down and inform the patient just before inserting the catheter. I'm going to have you bear down and I'm going to insert the catheter now. So insert it, advance until you see the urine. I see urine. While continuing to support the penis, hold on to the catheter with the non-dominant hand. Allow the bladder to empty fully unless volume was restricted. If, if indicated by physician order, collect urine specimen as needed. Withdraw the catheter slowly until removed. No more urine is draining out. I'm going to withdraw the catheter now. Provide post-procedural hygiene as needed. Replace foreskin if retracted. Sarah's going to deal with the urine and the sample as needed. She's going to clean the patient. And we can clean that with some extra warm soapy water if we need it to. She'll now remove her soiled, sterile gloves and perform hand hygiene. Put on new, non-sterile gloves. She will now remove the bath blanket, make sure the patient is comfortable. Just going to cover you back up. Maintain safety by lowering the patient's bed, raising the side rail. Are you comfortable? Put your bed back down. I see you have your call light. Great. She will now remove her gloves, perform hand hygiene, and she will proceed to document, documenting the date and time of the catheterization the type of catheter she used, the initial urinary output, urine quality, quantity, odor, whether a specimen was sent to the lab, also patient's alertness, orientation, abdominal assessment, and response to care. During the procedure, Sarah has maintained safety 
and professional demeanor and language throughout. And that is the end of the procedure.